Meg throwing Diana under the bus for cash, William fumes. Ever since their controversial move to Montecito, far from the restrained regality of the British royal family, Harry and Meghan have constantly been in the news for all the wrong reasons. Their latest endeavor, a questionable film with Netflix, which raises more eyebrows than appreciation, has a couple now resorted to exploiting personal tragedy for profit. The couple, who took the drastic step of breaking free from the constraints of British royalty, now seem to be disillusioned with their American dream. What followed their exit was a series of accusations and revelations that gave tabloids a field day. The most recent of which is the acquisition of the rights to a best-selling book, Meet Me at the Lake, by Carly Fortune. A story eerily reminiscent of the couple's own experiences. One cannot help but wonder are they so desperate for content that they have to delve into personal tragedies to stay relevant. The book's themes touch upon the loss of a parent in a car crash and postnatal depression, mirroring the tragic loss of Harry's mother, Princess Diana, and Meghan's publicly discussed struggles after childbirth. Royal commentators haven't turned a blind eye to this striking resemblance. Sally Baker, a relationship expert, even goes on to suggest that the project might be cathartic for the prince. But at what cost? Harry's decision to go down this path is not just an emotional journey for him. It's a clear dig at his own family, and it threatens to further strain his already tenuous relationship with his brother William. While the Duke of Sussex seems hell-bent on mining his family narrative, Prince William, on the other hand, stands to feel the brunt of his brother's actions. As Baker rightly put it, this project could potentially rip open deep wounds from their childhood for the entire world to see. Harry's continuous endeavors seem to stem from a place of bitterness, and they're mired with a clear intent, sensationalizing the royal narrative. And let us not forget about Harry's heartbreaking reply to William's peace offering, a simple text that read, don't come. It speaks volumes about the death of their rift. Was Harry genuinely concerned about the press getting wind of it, or was it another ploy to keep his narrative alive and make headlines? Their escape to Montecito might have given them the freedom they so desperately sought, but it also came with its share of issues. Rumors of Harry and Meghan not being the ideal neighbors have been circulating, painting a picture of the couple as aloof and unfriendly. From ignoring simple greetings to causing discomfort at a private club, their behavior has not endeared them to the local community. Stories of Prince Harry's insensitivity, like his reported bicycle incident with a neighbor without offering an apology, have further alienated the couple. Their move, which was supposed to be a fresh start, has only brought turmoil to the once peaceful neighborhood. In the midst of all this chaos, one can't help but wonder, is this constant pursuit of attention and controversy a calculated move, or is it a reflection of the couple's genuine struggles in navigating their new life outside of the royal family? Regardless of their intentions, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's actions have time and again proved to be more self-serving than genuine. From capitalizing on personal trauma for content to ruffling feathers in their new neighborhood, the couple seems to be on a relentless mission to stay in the limelight, no matter the cost. However, in their quest for attention, they may be alienating not only their royal roots, but also their newfound neighbors and fans. Only time will tell if their tactics will pay off or backfire, but for now, Harry and Meghan continue to be a divisive topic of conversation on both sides of the pond.